seeing as I barely remember to say my name in my first video, uh, it's probably not too surprising that I didn't even bother to introduce myself in any way more than just, hey, I'm Abby, I'm doing the vets thing. So today I thought that I'd try to tell you more about me and... I'm sorry, I need to get rid of my hair. Check me out in my little trash bag, hair, smock thing. Anyway. I've been thinking about the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. It seems silly to me. Judging books by their covers was the main way I picked out what books I wanted from the library when I was a kid. And I found some really great books that way. But that's me taking an idiom literally, which is not how idioms work. What the saying is really telling us is to not make final judgments on something or someone based on appearance alone. Now that I can get behind. People make certain assumptions about me whenever I shave my head. Once I explain to people that my head isn't shaved for health-related reasons, the thing people tell me the most is, you're so brave. And I don't really understand how they get to that conclusion. Hair choices feel pretty low stakes to me. It's not permanent, and I don't spend a lot of time looking at myself anyway. If it looks bad, y'all are the ones who have to look at it, not me. I also get the sense that people think I have some sort of deep and meaningful reason for shaving my head. Like they're waiting for me to dramatically reveal my tragic hair-related backstory. As if I'll stare into the distance, and everything goes black and white while I explain how I was forced to take ballet for over ten years, and at my dance studio we were required to have our hair long enough to be put into a good-sized bun for recitals. And my hair was a tangled mess that my mom had to attack with a brush just to get it into that standard ballet hairstyle. So when I finally got to stop taking ballet, I got 13 inches of my hair cut off to celebrate my freedom. I mean, that's all true, but it's not the reason I shaved my head as an adult. Perhaps people expect me to go into an emotional monologue about how after the first time I shaved my head, my younger students began questioning my gender. And this played a part in me questioning my own gender identity, eventually leading to me figuring out I'm non-binary, and both coming to terms with that as well as getting to a place where I am proud to be so. Again, all true things, and a meaningful part of my personal story but ultimately not the reason I first shaved my head, or why I've continued to do it for over six years. It's not the book cover's job to tell the story. It often portrays what's inside, but ultimately it's there to protect the pages, to keep the book safely in one piece. And personally, I like for a book cover to feel nice, to be comfortable to hold. That's why I shaved my head. I like the way it feels. I feel more comfortable. Except sometimes in the winter. Because, you know, it gets cold. But then I just let my hair grow longer. Because that's what hair does. Or I could wear a hat. I keep finding little wispies that are too long, but I feel so much better now. Um, anyway, I don't know how well this all worked as like an introduction video, or if it was just Abby overthinks and overanalyzes a random thing, which happens a lot. Uh, so if you want a proper introduction, or anyone's interested in some kind of Q&A, uh, let me know, and maybe we'll figure that out later this month. Bye!